it's 9 a.m. I'm about to leave for lab, but it's also the first day of classes. But I don't have any classes assigned yet for Thursday. So I'm gonna go to the lab and do a lab day. But I've been putting together my semester schedule and I'm excited. I think it's very balanced because I'll be going into the lab off of campus and I'm TAing and I think the classes that I'm taking are very manageable and also very interesting. I was really dreading this year just because coming off of Hawaii and having such a rough summer, it just seemed so scary. I mean, everyone's always like a little bit scared of change, but I feel like the start is always a little bit nerve wracking kind of surreal. I'm telling myself that I need to enjoy it because this is my last year in undergrad as a student. And an undergrad is a very, I wanna say free form time just because even though you are super busy, it's all kind of on your own time. So I'm telling myself that I need to just enjoy and appreciate this year for what it is. to go to work but while i was doing my makeup this morning i was watching a youtube video of this girl who lives in portugal and she's renovating a van to live out of and she surfs every day it looks so nice and i think i'm in a headspace where i'm like thinking about escapism and i don't i don't know i don't know what's going on but did I just spend the last five minutes Googling clinical research positions in Lisbon? Yes, I did. Um, is that happening anytime soon? No, it's not. But Portugal looks amazing. What I do need to be thinking about is going to work on my thesis. Yesterday was my thesis seminar and I had to give a presentation. So in the summer, I was working on my thesis project but it was a lot more independent just because, you know, there wasn't much supervision. But now we have weekly meetings with our cohort to talk about our thesis project and learn about each other's projects, which is super interesting. But it's nice having that little like weekly check-in with the professor and with my peers. And it's nice being able to talk about my thesis with people and feel like some more accountability. I am terribly backlit, but I wanted to talk about a new change that I've made. So I tend to have trouble moderating my productivity. When I leave the apartment for the day, I like 
don't know where to stop and then I end up like working myself into a state where I'm gonna burn out. So what I've started doing is carrying around a tote bag instead of a backpack and only bringing with me the bare minimum for what I need to do for the next couple of hours. And that might seem counterproductive, but basically what it does is focuses you in on whatever task you want to accomplish in the next time frame. I figured out that bringing less with me instead of bringing, you know, three textbooks and my laptop and my tablet and it's like a physical way to tell myself this is what you're going to work on next. It's better to force myself to go back home and break it up or else I will just be there all day and not know when to stop and just get too stressed out. This is my issue with New York City is that you get this impression that everyone's working really hard and everyone's really stressed all the time and so when I'm in this environment especially at Columbia I think it gets hard for me to moderate when to stop and how much is a reasonable amount and then I end up just crashing and burning so the key point here is maybe it's better to do a little bit than nothing at all because if you try to do a lot sometimes you'll end up accomplishing nothing you just don't try to do too much at once because then it'll be hard to do anything because I don't really have a car phone stand in this car, obviously, because it's not my car, it's a zip car. Um, I went surfing today. It was the perfect wave. This is what I needed. It was so, so freaking nice, and I feel like myself again. I feel like it's hard for me to be in New York City and getting back outside and getting out in the water it's very grounding, so I'm really, really happy that I was able to go. Okay, maybe the theme of this vlog is going to be productivity. Sometimes it's more productive not to work because I know that I'm going to be able to get a lot done this weekend because I took the break today. You need to be flexible with yourself and leave wiggle room in your schedule to be more spontaneous. Also, to be clear, I'm giving all this advice to myself right now. This is not like me trying to like preach. I absolutely, you know, just skipped out on work today to go surf. So take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. I'm just gonna drive home now and what am I doing? Oh, I'm picking up my friend Gabe and we're gonna go see the ballet tonight. I'm so excited. So, today's actually a really good day, and this is really what I needed. We are about to get Dating. Yeah. In love. I'm so glad. Okay, another big announcement about me and Izzy. Um, Glizzy, that's what uh, you can call us. Um, is that so while Izzy was in Hawaii she uh, you know I'm not putting it. <laughs> <laughs> we're back together we're back together and we're at the Guys, I ran six and a half miles, which is the longest I've ever run. I went with my friend and we went at a nine minute pace. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of myself right now. Um, but I'm gonna go study. But the lighting in the kitchen is really pretty right now, so I want to show you. Like, look at these flowers. 
and then these plants. I don't know, I just, I love this little area in our kitchen. I baked an Earl Grey cake last week, so I spent the morning making a TikTok. Oh, where's my keys? I made a TikTok about it while I was eating breakfast, but why was I talking about that? Oh, right, because the lighting in the TikTok in the kitchen is always nice. But I have some dinner plans, so I want to crank out this lab report and set up my schedule for next week. So I'm going to the coffee shop now.